ISRO's first rocket, the satellite launch vehicle, SOLV, was a slender and towering vehicle that stood around meters tall. It had a diameter of approximately meter and a total lift off mass of around tons. The SOLV had a distinct three stage configuration with each stage designed to perform specific functions during its flight. The first stage of the SOLV was known as the S stage and was powered by a solid propellant motor. Initial thrust to lift the rocket off the launch pad. The SAS stage was responsible for carrying the rocket to a certain altitude before separating from the rest of the vehicle. The second stage, the second stage called the S stage was also powered by solid propellant and was approximately meters in length. It ignited after the first stage burnout and continued to propel the soul further into space. The S stage played a crucial role in propelling the rocket to a higher altitude and velocity. The third and final stage was known as the S stage was about. The stage was about. The stage was about meters long and had two liquid engines. This stage provided the final push required to place the satellite into its intended orbit. Payload fairing. On top of the third stage, the SOLV had a payload fairing or nose cone, which protected the satellite during the initial phases of the launch and through the Earth's atmosphere. Once the rocket reached a certain altitude, the payload fairing was jettisoned to expose the satellite to space. Satellite payload. At the top of the rocket nestled inside the payload fairing was the satellite payload. The SOLV was primarily to launch small payloads. Ride the Rohini satellite, India's first experimental satellite. Launch platform and control center. The SOLV was launched from the Sriharikota range, now known as Satish Dawn Space Center, in Andhra Pradesh, India. The launch pad provided a stable base for the rocket during the countdown and liftoff. The maiden flight of the SOLV took place on August, marking a significant milestone in India's space program. Although the mission was partially successful, it laid the foundation for the development of more sophisticated launch vehicles, propelling ISRO into the forefront of the forefront.